What if I told you this tiny motor and some plastic bottles could make real electricity? Stay tuned. I'll show you step by step how to build a wind power generator right at home. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, and share. Your support helps more people discover the magic of homemade clean energy. I've got an old water purifier motor here. Inside, the stator is a permanent magnet and the rotor is a copper coil. That means it can actually generate electricity when it spins. So today, I'm going to connect a 12-volt bulb to test how much power this little motor can produce. Let's see what happens. Next, I'm using a 76mm PVC pipe to make the wind turbine blades. I'll heat the edge with a heat gun until it becomes soft, then flatten and shape it into smooth aerodynamic blades. PVC is light and strong, perfect for capturing wind energy at home. On the other end of the PVC pipe, I'll make a few cuts with a small handsaw to create the base legs. These cuts will help the pipe fit tightly onto the motor shaft and keep the blades stable when spinning in the wind. Simple, but very effective for a homemade wind turbine. Now I'll heat the cut section of the PVC pipe using the heat gun again. This will soften the plastic, making it flexible enough to shape and fit perfectly onto the motor shaft. Be careful not to overheat it, just warm until it's slightly soft and bendable. Now that the PVC pipe is soft and shaped, I'll attach the motor to the widened end I prepared earlier. This part fits perfectly. The slots and softened plastic help lock the motor firmly in place. Once it's secure, the turbine is almost ready to generate real wind power. Next, I'll make a simple base using a wooden board. I'll screw the PVC pipe firmly onto the wood to keep the wind turbine stable while it spins. This wooden base keeps everything balanced and ready for testing our homemade wind generator. Make sure to use enough screws. The more secure the base, the smoother the wind turbine will run. Now it's time to make the wind blades using recycled plastic bottles. Before cutting the bottles, I'll peel off the plastic labels. Removing the labels makes the surface clean and smooth, perfect for shaping wind blades. It also keeps the turbine looking neat and professional. Next, I'll cut the plastic bottle in half right along its length. This gives me two curved panels, perfect for making smooth aerodynamic wind blades. Always cut carefully and follow the curve of the bottle for the best shape. I'll prepare six plastic bottles to make six wind blades. Each bottle gives me two curved panels, so I'll have plenty of lightweight aerodynamic pieces to work with. The more balanced the blades, the smoother the turbine will spin and generate power. Now I'll attach six bottle caps onto a round wooden plate using screws. Each cap will hold one wind blade, keeping the spacing even and the balance perfect. Make sure all caps are tightly screwed and evenly placed. This will help the turbine spin smoothly. Now it's time to attach the blades. I'll screw each plastic bottle onto the caps we fixed earlier. Make sure each bottle is tight and evenly angled. That's the secret to smooth, powerful wind rotation. All the bottles must face the same direction to catch the wind properly. This alignment is very important. If one bottle faces the wrong way, the turbine won't spin smoothly. Now it's time to mount the fan blades onto the motor shaft. I'll carefully align the center hole of the blade hub with the motor shaft and secure it tightly. This connection must be firm and centered. Any imbalance will affect the wind turbine's performance. To make this small generator even more powerful, I'll connect a boost inverter circuit. This circuit converts 12 volts DC from the motor into 220 volts AC, enough to light a household bulb. Always be careful when handling high voltage. Safety first, even in DIY experiments. To make the setup more practical, I'll connect a power socket to the inverter's 220 volt output. This allows me to plug in real household devices, like a lamp or a small fan, powered entirely by my homemade wind generator. Always make sure the connections are tight and safe before turning it on.
The output wires from the motor are a bit short, so I'll extend them with longer cables. This will make it easier to connect the motor to the inverter and keep everything neat and safe. Always make sure to use the right wire gauge and good insulation to avoid energy loss. Now I'll connect the two output wires from the motor to the input terminals of the inverter circuit. The red wire goes to the positive input and the black wire goes to the negative. This will feed the power generated by the wind turbine directly into the booster circuit. Everything is ready. Now let's bring our homemade wind generator up to the rooftop, where the wind is strong and free. Once it catches the breeze, it starts spinning, and the light turns on. Clean energy, made by hand, right at home. This is the power of creativity. We just placed our wind generator up on the rooftop, and look, the blades are already spinning instantly. Now I'll plug in a small fan to test the output. From wind to motion, power and action. This is clean energy, made at home, working just minutes after setup. Watch this, I'll stop the wind blades for a moment, and instantly the electric fan stops running. This proves the power is coming directly from our homemade wind generator. Real wind energy in action. I tried stopping and restarting the wind blades twice, and each time it worked perfectly. The moment the blades stop, the electric fan shuts off. And as soon as the blades spin again, the fan starts right back up. That's proof. Our homemade wind generator is working with real, consistent power. From an old water purifier motor and a few plastic bottles, we created a working wind generator that can produce real electricity. Clean, free, and handmade. This project proves that creativity can turn waste into energy and ideas into light. If you believe in sustainable DIY power, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Let's inspire more people to build their own clean energy future.